create a skin substitute by electro spinning fibers onto a hydrogel. And we were able to spin fibers onto a hydrogel using our novel apparatus that we created that's never been done before. And then we tested our samples to see if they're mechanically comparable to skin, which they were. Our project was to um, develop a data collection tracking system for orthopedic surgeries at Beaumont Hospital. Basically, we designed a software system that would uh, allow them to quick, quickly and accurately uh, record important data in the medical <laughs> environment. Alright, this is the uh, ambulatory urine collection bank. Uh, team number five. And this, is, uh, this is the project we came up with. Uh, it's designed for more uh, active users. Uh, this is the uh, urine bag that they currently use, currently use up at the hospital. And uh, we just renovated it just to make it uh, more compatible for people who like to run around a little more often, you know? This is a scientific um, bioabsorbable heart stent group. And we, uh, Cross Scientific came to us to uh, design a test for um, out of body conditions to mimic those of in body. So, um, previous studies have shown um, they would place iron rat, or they'd place iron stents inside uh, rats, and corrosion would, uh, after a year, very little corrosion would take place. Um, where, um, when it was out of the body, um, corrosion would take would happen within seven days. So they wanted us to have a more accurate um, representation between the two. Um, so we uh, hypothesized that this uh, uh, layer right here that's forming of encapsulation tissue is blocking the corrosion rate. Um, so we performed some tests to try and um, see if we could replicate this. We decided to try and use uh, collagen um, and coat the coat our specimens um, in the laboratory to see if we could uh, reduce the corrosion rate. We effectively reduced the corrosion rate by um, between uh, 200 and 300 percent. And uh, also notably, we uh, um, were able to identify the corrosion product, that being of iron oxide, hydroxide, uh, typically found at the pH values that were found to uh, blood. Um, another interesting um, piece of information is the collagen uh, um, effectively trapped uh, bubbles, bubble evolution, and we believe this is hydrogen. Um, typically when it's not uh, um, encapsulated, there's going to be some kind of formation of hydrogen just from the corrosion process, but this um, gas gets absorbed in the fluid, where um, by having this collagen layer, it um, traps the, um, the traps corrosion, or the um, gas right there. Uh, so Boston Scientific wants to use this for um, other for, for other tests to see if they can uh, trap the gas that way. Uh, for future things, we'd also like to characterize the corrosion um, uh, products forming uh, in the body. We produce or we produce some tests where uh, we place iron tubes inside rats and in hopes that we'd be able to characterize the products. However, after um, extensive amounts of testing, um, we were not able to uh, characterize the material because there just was not enough for the product for me. Um, so if we left the um, tubes in there for longer, or had a larger um, uh, device would have more surface area, we could potentially have um, more corrosion product for me and be able to identify this. Our senior design project was to improve a transfibula that's a below knee prosthetic uh, because they've been having issues at the back of the knee with welts and abrasions. Uh, what we came up with was an in socket seal in which we found improved the range of motion and decreased some of the pressure issues which were indicated in causing welts and abrasions.